Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many Amazon S3 users encounter. Our viewer is trying to grant access to all subfolders within a specific folder, but is running into access denied errors. Let's dive into the details of their policy and find out how to resolve this issue. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. To grant access to all subfolders in your Amazon S3 bucket, we need to adjust the policy you've created. Let's start by reviewing the current policy. The first statement allows the user to see the list of all buckets and their locations. This is fine, but it doesn't grant access to the contents of your specific bucket. The second statement allows listing of the MyCool bucket, but it restricts access to only the root and media slash folder. This is likely why you're seeing access denied errors when trying to access subfolders. To resolve this, we need to modify the second statement to allow listing of all subfolders under media slash. We can do this by removing the condition that restricts the prefix. Finally, ensure that the third statement remains intact as it grants all actions within the media slash folder and its subfolders. This will allow users to create and view subfolders without issues. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To grant access to all subfolders in an Amazon S3 bucket, you need to adjust your permissions. Specifically, add a policy statement to allow listing the contents of the media folder. Here's a sample policy statement you can use. It allows listing the media folder and its subfolders. Remember, it's best to attach this policy to an IAM group and then add users to that group for better management. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To grant access to all subfolders in an Amazon S3 folder, you can use a specific policy. This policy allows listing the bucket and performing actions like getting, putting, and deleting objects within the subfolders. I hope that video helped get through to the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a great one. Cheers.